Hello and welcome. Today I want us to calculate income tax using VBA. This is Kenya income tax for the income tax bonds that will be effective on January 2018. So to start with, we shall go to the developer tab. So this one, then visual basic. Then uh, insert module. Um, so let me remove one of the module. Let me remove the module again and we see how to insert. So insert the module. And then at this point here, I want us to paste the table. So we go to the worksheet, copy this table. And then uh, control V to paste. So without much ado, we shall start by writing the code. So that is function tax due. In brackets by value or by val taxable income so close the brackets so the taxable income is the value that is got after subtracting the statutory deductions like the national social security fund otherwise known as the nssf so here we shall start by declaring our variables so we start with dim tax as double so dim so that is as double then we copy this one so that we can speed up the process so here we shall have a constant called A. Then comma, another one. So we shall call it B. And another one. We shall call it C. So we still need more constants before we start writing the actual code. Let me remove this and also this one. So copy, control C, then control V. So this one we shall call it D. This one will be E. And this one will be F. So I think those are enough constants. Now we shall understand this constant, our constants as we proceed. So here I'm going to write the conditions. So before we write the conditions, we need to declare this constant so a is the personal relief which is 16,896 per annum so here i can write per annum so this a is 16,896 but since we are calculating a uh, monthly income tax so we divide it by 12. Then another constant that is B. So is equal to what? So B will be this amount, 147,580 divided by 12. 147,580 divided by 12. Uh, we have yet another constant that is C. So that one will be 286,623. 
so 286 623 so that is the value of c so let us speed up the process by copying this so copy and we paste down here then this will be d and d D is equal to for 25,666 for 25,666 and then E is equal to um, 564,709 564,709 and then we have f so f will be the value uh, that is the difference between 286623 and 147580 or 425666 and 286623 or even uh, 564,709 minus 425,666. So if you calculate that, you get 139,043. So I think those are enough. Now we can start writing the conditions uh, that if uh, B, uh, that is if taxable income. Uh, is less than or equal to B so then what happens so the tax due will equal to zero because after subtracting the personal relief this value will be um, zero or a negative value so then we go to the next condition so we copy that one and paste so we adjust this and say that um, if taxable income is greater than B and taxable income is less than or, e or equal to C so then what happens so so what happens is that the tax will equal to 10% of B um, plus in brackets taxable income minus B in brackets times 15% uh, minus a personal relief A. So here we forgot to put multiplication so that is times that so at this point we need to state uh, the tax due using um, the worksheet function that is um, tax due is equal to application worksheet worksheet function dot around down so we are rounding down so that we don't get many decimals so that is um round down in brackets tax comma one so that one is one decimal place but in the worksheet we shall adjust it to two decimals to represent the cents so i think that is complete so we copy this one in order to speed up the process and we paste so but here this one we are supposed to say else if so 
or because we started with the if statement so here we say else else if and also here else if and then here this will now be equal to c and this will equal to e so then here we shall have a 10 percent of b plus so plus uh, 15 percent of f so times f plus taxable income minus b minus f uh, times 20 percent so here we need to put brackets so here also you put brackets and here too we put brackets because we are subtracting the personal relief so this part of the code will calculate the, uh, the tax from 286,624 to 425,666 so we go to the next part for the income band 425,667 to 564,709. So let us work out that one. So copy the code. So we paste. And I believe we have enough constants. So that is 286, 623, uh, which is this one, 425, 666, then 564, 709. So after pasting that one, let us adjust it. So this will be E. And this. So this will be what? So let us go up there and check. So we have 425 and 564. 425, 666 is D. And 564, 709 is E. So let us come down here and check. So that is, this was supposed to be D. And this is supposed to be D also. So this is D. And this is E. So now it is okay. Then here we multiply by 20% times F plus taxable income minus B minus F minus F or 2 times F. So 2 times F minus, I mean times 25%. So that is complete. And then we go to the final one. So copy and then paste. So taxable income, when the value is now greater than, than E. So if uh, else if taxable income is greater than E then so what happens um, we shall have this one multiplied uh, that is plus 0 0.25 which is 25 percent times F plus taxable income minus B minus F minus F minus F or simply uh, 3 times F so here we multiply by 30 percent so minus 
the personal relief so i think we are through or we have completed this macro code and now i want us to test it in the worksheet um, environment so that is let us calculate the tax due now so in this worksheet we shall convert or shall express the columns in terms of accounting so the numbers will be in accounting so what will be the tax for 80,000 Kenya shillings so you put equal sign if you type tax now it will appear so this is the tax due there and then you can select it and press tab key then uh, select this value close the bracket and then enter so it is giving us a negative value I don't know why but let us go back to the uh, macro code and check so which value is affecting the calculation so let us check here so it is this one we didn't divide by 12 so divide by 12 and let us check again and see whether it will be correct so here we just update that by entering and that is the value um, for 80,000 so it will be 16 the tax will be 16,656 and 20 cents what about this other value so here we can um, select this cell then bring the cursor here and double click so it will copy automatically and that is it so that gives you the tax so if you are earning 78,715 then you pay 16,270 and 7 cents so let's check person earning 14,000 so that person will pay 77 shillings um, uh, if you are earning 12,298 and 33 cents so you don't pay any tax so let's see a hundred thousand shilling maybe two hundred thousand maybe one million so that is one million so what tax are you expected to pay so a person earning hundred thousand will pay twenty two thousand six hundred and fifty six and twenty cents two hundred thousand shillings will pay fifty two thousand six hundred and fifty six and twenty cents one million uh, you will have to pay two hundred and ninety two thousand six hundred and fifty six and twenty cents so finally let us check the final value like 35,000 uh, maybe 45,000 50,000 20,000 and so on so let us check so those are the taxes they will have to pay so 35,000 we pay 3,782 and 80 cents and 45,000 this is the value 50,000 that is the value and finally 20,000 you pay that value so that is how we calculate tax using um, VBA or using the macros thank you for watching my video and see you in my next video